Rick and Morty Season 7, Episode 6's post credit scene sets up a new villain, and this unlikely antagonist parodies both Rick Prime and Evil Morty. While Rick and Morty Season 7, Episode 6 mostly ignores the show's lore and canon, the outing's post credit scene does set up a new villain after the death of the show's main antagonist. Rick and Morty started life as an anarchic, madcap parody of family sitcoms and sci-fi television shows, but the series soon became something darker and more complex. By the end of Rick and Morty Season 5, the series had its own authentically threatening villains like Rick Prime and Evil Morty, as well as complicated lore and a tragic backstory for Rick. However, Rick and Morty Season 7 has balanced darker episodes with goofy storylines that act as silly standalone adventures. For example, Rick and Morty Season 7 Episode 5 was a show-shaking outing that saw Rick and Morty team up with Evil Morty to finally kill Rick Prime once and for all. After a bloody battle, Rick beats his nemesis to death with his bare hands, only to feel numb and empty after the fact. Despite this dark twist, in Episode 6 marks a wild clip show-type outing wherein Rick audits Morty's claims about the pair's adventures, only for the duo to end up accidentally killing the omniscient Observer, facilitating their audit. Still reeling from the previous episode's villain developments, Episode 6's post credit scene follows up the audit storyline by teasing a new antagonist replacement for future misadventures. Morty's Churro could become a major Rick and Amp, Morty villain. After post credits scene tease, in one episode 6 segment, the show even parodies the storyline that Unmortrican ended. In one short scene, Rick brings Morty's Churro to life. Episode 4 already debated the ethics of eating aliens after they took their own lives, but this sequence instead sees Morty ask Rick to give his snack sentience just for fun. Morty initially has a great time hanging out with his churro, before he eventually decides that he no longer wants the food to be alive. To Morty's horror, Rick informs him that he can't undo the churro's self-awareness. This results in Rick and Morty abandoning the sweet treat on a remote, desolate planet, leading Morty's churro to vow violent vengeance on him. The gag returns in Rick and Morty Season 7, Episode 6's post credit stinger, meaning the churro is likely to show up again after this outing. Now that Rick and Morty killed off Rick Prime, this churro could even become a recurring major villain in the series. After all, his origins aren't all that different from Evil Morty's backstory, with both characters being betrayed by a version of the show's heroes and vowing not to rest until they finally get revenge on their former friend, Rick and Morty. Season 7, Episode 6, Ox, the show's villain canon. Talking Churro is undeniably a ridiculous character, but his backstory mirrors both Evil Morty's origins and Rick's feud with Rick Prime. This allowed Rick and Morty to spoof its more serious episodes only one week after the show's darkest outing ever. While the Churro's promise to track down Morty is hilarious, it isn't all that different from Rick C. 137 devoting years to tracking down Rick Prime or Slow Mobius's widow, considering the same path in Rick and Morty, Season 7's saddest post credits scene. Thus, this gag permits Rick and Morty Season 7 to simultaneously parody its existing villains while also setting up a new potential antagonist for the show. 